Well, I'm Shawnee Montgomery. I'm from a small town in Kansas, and I have a student that just recently, a couple years ago, he was a freshman. And we have open house before we have school every year. We, we open our doors, and usually, sometimes the teachers don't communicate with each other very much. So this kid comes, my door's open, comes rolling into my classroom with his grandmother behind him, and his grandmother's going like, I don't know why he's in here. I don't know what he's doing here. And I go like, oh, okay. And she was like, but he's been dying to take your art class. And I was like, okay, that's awesome. And his hands are strapped down to his wheelchair. It's very little movement, only in his head. And he really, his severe cerebral palsy, which I didn't realize at the time how severe it was, but it's pretty severe. So his grandmother's going like, I don't know why I took your class. He's not gonna be able to do anything. So I'm pretty good at winging it. And I have a piece of pottery that I bought a few years ago from a veteran, a Vietnam veteran who didn't have any hands and was blind and he threw this awesome piece of pottery and I thought, oh my gosh, you better start winging it right now because you didn't know anything about this kid now he's going to be in your classroom. So I was like, it's okay, I got this. It'll be okay. I know of an artist in Wichita who, has, who paints with a mouth stick. We'll figure this whole thing out. He'll be making art. He really wants to be here. I want him to stay. This is all good. So the first day of class he comes, he has no adaptions, he does have a pair of professional with him and he comes with nothing basically because they didn't know he was going to be there and I, so I get out duct tape because I'm an art teacher and that's what I do. So I duct tape a bunch of stuff together to make him kind of an easel that he could kind of paint at and then he doesn't have any tools, he doesn't have a mouth stick or anything. So I duct tape popsicle sticks to every single art supply that I own, every paintbrush I designate them for him. and. I teach him how to paint and draw and he starts making marks and he's never, he's 14 years old, never made any marks on his own before. No one has ever duct taped popsicle sticks to any supplies. So we go along and, and I think he, this kid really needs to have access to like a mouth stick because he's gripping really hard, it's really hard for him to concentrate and he sweats profusely like when he's making this art but he loves it so much I cannot say no you can't do this. So I have to go with our special ed co-op and I have to go to administrators and I have to go to a bunch of people and kind of argue about this kid needs these, these special needs and we have to order them for him. And so they finally let me order them in. And then they don't turn out quite right. So I think, okay, I have to go further. And I know this woman who has, she, she paints with a mouth stick. So I make a whole special field trip arrangement and we go see Jeannie Gordon who, uh, Paints with a mouth stick in Wichita, so we make a special field trip, and she has a special mouth piece that she has made in Denver, Colorado. We're in Cheney, Kansas. We're not gonna go to Denver, Colorado. So we, I take a bunch of pictures of the mouth stick, and I think I have to figure out how I'm gonna get this kid this mouth stick. So just by connecting a bunch of different pieces, I go to my dentist, and I don't know how we're gonna fund this, and I think my art club's gonna have a big fundraiser, and we're gonna have to pay for this, and it turns out she says, no, we'll just do it for free. I'll have my guy make this mouth stick for free. So he makes this mouth stick and Dustin's making art. And one day his parent calls me over and says, Miss Moni, look at this. And Dustin goes like, I wrote my name. Well, he's a 14 year old kid and I teach high school. So that you would think happens every day. And she goes like, no, you don't understand. Like, Shawnee, this is the first time he's ever written his name or ever done anything on his own like this. So this has been empowering to him. And that's my story.